I can't believe I'm sitting here next to little Lalita Gupta. Well, you are. Little Lalita. That's kind of fun to say. Little Lalita, little Lalita, little Lalita. <laughs> you should try it. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> you have lost so much weight. That must have been difficult for you because you were so, so fat. Do you remember? Yes, I do. <laughs> of course you do. Who could forget being that fat? Well, I've been trying. So you're a dentist student? Mm. Are you aware that dentists have an extremely high suicide rate? Well, not as high as, say, air traffic controllers, but then there are far more dentists than air traffic controllers, so in pure numbers, you're still winning. Yay, me! You have a drink that'll make them less obnoxious? Drinks do not work that way. I'd say he's doing fine. Look at her. Last girl my mom set me up with had a mustache and a vestigial tail. Sorry, I'm late. What happened? Nothing. I just really didn't want to come. <laughs> Virgin Diet Cuba Libre, please. Okay. In a tall glass with a lime wedge. Oh, I'll wedge it right in there. <laughs> So, how's Kuthra Polly? Oh, my lord. What? That's Princess Panchali. I'm pretty sure her name's Lalita. No, no. Princess Panchali from The Monkey and the Princess. Oh, yeah. I tried to watch that online, but they wanted my credit card. <laughs> it's a children's story. No, no, it isn't. <laughs> When I was a little boy and got sick, which was most of the time, my mother would read it to me. It's about an Indian princess who befriends a monkey who was mocked by all the other monkeys because he was different. For some reason, I related to it quite strongly. I know the reason. We all know the reason. <laughs> Sheldon, what are you getting at? That woman looks exactly like the pictures of Princess Panchali in the book. How often does one see a beloved fictional character come to life? Every year at Comic-Con. <laughs> Every day at Disneyland, you can hire Snow White to come to your house. Of course, they prefer it if you have a kid. <laughs> hey, guys. This is Lalita Gupta. Lalita, this is Leonard and Sheldon and Howard and Penny. Isn't it great? She isn't fat anymore. Forgive me, Your Highness, for I am but a monkey, and it is in my nature to climb. I did not mean to gaze upon you as you comb your hair. I'm sorry? You are the living embodiment of the beautiful Princess Panchali. Oh, no kidding. Who, who is that? A beloved character from an Indian folk tale. Oh. Us Indian or come to our casino Indian? <laughs> you Indian. Oh. The resemblance is remarkable. I can practically smell the lotus blossoms woven into your ebony hair. Well, thanks. I imagine you smell very nice, too. I shower twice a day and wash my hands as often as I can. Really? So do I. But you're a dentist. He's nuts. Don't be insulting, Rajesh. So, Sheldon, tell me more about this princess you say I look like. It was said that the gods fashioned her eyes out of the stars and that roses were ashamed to bloom in the presence of her ruby lips. Oh, my. Back off, Sheldon. What? If you do not stop hitting on my lady, you will feel the full extent of my wrath. <laughs> I'm not hitting on her. And I am not your lady. Well, and you have no wrath. <laughs> you are my lady. Our parents said so. We are, for all intents and purposes, 100% hooked up. Okay, let's get something straight here. The only reason I came tonight was to get my parents off my case. I certainly don't need to be getting this old world crap from you. That's exactly the kind of spirit with which Princess Panchali led the monkeys to freedom. Oh, oh, oh screw Princess Panchali. Hey, you can't talk to me like that. But you're not Princess Panchali. Luckily for you, she could have you beheaded. Sheldon, are you hungry? I could eat. Let's go. What just happened? Beats the hell out of me. I'll tell you what happened. I just learned how to pick up Indian chicks. 